It is easier, said Jesus, for heaven and earth. I want you to read that with me. What does it say? A tittle, see it was written in Greek and Hebrew, and a tittle is like the crossing of a T. Jesus said, you can't even change a letter in the law. Easier for you to cause heaven and earth to disappear. Jesus said that. Why is it so hard for us to understand? That's what is an enigma to me. When it is finally clear, why is it so hard? Jesus said, think not that I'm come to destroy the law of the prophets. I didn't come to do that. I came to show you how to keep it. And as his custom was, he went to church on the Sabbath. Jesus said, if ye love me, keep. Wait, 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 wait. There is a pronoun there. It is a possessive pronoun. If you love me, keep my. Meaning he has his own commandments opposed to those of men if you love me now if you love somebody else do that he gives you a choice you're not forced but if you love me keep my commandments Matthew 15 and verse 9 Matthew 15 and verse 9 the Decalogue the moral law of God was written by God with his own finger. No man wrote it. God wrote it on two tables of stone. And the Bible says, for whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of how much? Oh. Now folks, that's the Bible. That's not C.D. Brooks. That's not my church. That's the Bible. Huh? That's the word of God. And God means what he says. And he said, now if you keep it all and break one, you're guilty of all. Because to break it is to sin. And the wages of sin is dead. Now when you didn't know any better, Acts 17, 30 says, God winked at it. But now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Why now? Because now you know. Amen. Now you've heard. And I'm sending it to you, not because I'm angry with you, but because I love you. I want to bring you out of darkness, away from excuses, into marvelous light. And if you know and don't do it, you're guilty of all. And so, ladies and gentlemen, popes, priests, clergy, politicians, all say, keep Sunday. I'm going to read it again. Popes, priests, clergy, politicians, all say keep Sunday. But, ladies and gentlemen, Adam, Abraham, the prophets, Jesus, and the disciples all say keep the Sabbath. I cast my lot with Jesus. Now, don't just say it, but if you mean it, I want you to say amen like you mean it. Amen. Might not have known it before, and believe me, there was a time I didn't know it. My family has a Methodist background. My granddaddy was a Methodist preacher. My uncle was a Methodist bishop. The other one was a Methodist professor. My brother-in-law was a Methodist preacher. Good people, love them to death. This isn't a contest between denominations. You don't even hear me mention my church name. Oh, I'm proud of it. One of the fastest growing churches in the world, but you don't hear me talking that. I don't teach denominationalism. I teach the word of God. If you appreciate it, say amen. amen. What you have seen tonight comes from the word of God with history confirming it. Amen. It's not mine. It's not my church's. It is the word of God. Jesus and his followers say, keep the Sabbath. If you love me, keep the Sabbath. Well, why is the Sabbath important? He said in Isaiah 58, 13, if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, walking on my Sabbath, if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasures on my, 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 on my holy day, 
and call the Sabbath a delight. The holy of the Lord honorable and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord. Those are the words of God, Isaiah 58, 13 and 14. He said, stop trampling on my Sabbath, doing your own ways and finding your own pleasure, and call the Sabbath a delight. The holy of the Lord honorable and shall honor him. Sabbath honors him. A few years back, we almost got a universal holiday to honor Dr. Martin Luther King. The state of Arizona Amen. said no. Amen. And I got upset with Arizona. I got upset. Well, why was a day important to honor somebody? Forget Martin Luther King. The Sabbath honors Jesus. It memorializes creation. It celebrates his deity. It recognizes his Godhood. And it's a day to worship with him. That's what it is. And he said it's important. It's not just another day. Oh, no, 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 no. And you don't keep Sabbath the way folk keep Sunday. You don't go to watch the Arizona Cardinals on the Sabbath. You don't mow the lawn. You don't play tennis on the Sabbath. It is a day to honor him, to spend in his presence, to be with family, to walk in the park, to see the things that God has made up close, to pick a flower and show it to your child and say, God made this. Look at the intricacy. Look at the delicateness. Look at the color. God did that. It didn't evolve. God did it. And your children will grow up noble. The Sabbath honors Jesus. And he said so. Now on the other hand, the Bible says, He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a what? Liar. And the truth is not what? Yeah. Not only that, but Jesus died because he loved us. Oh, how he loved us. And ladies and gentlemen, that death, bought salvation for those who love him and he said if you love me do what now tonight's message has been very very frank i wouldn't be honest if i tried to cover this up there's some who never knew as once my family didn't know the end is near jesus said in revelation 22 last book last chapter of the Bible. Revelation 22, Jesus said, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they might have a right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Amen. Jesus, in these last days, while the world is going morally mad, is trying to get his people ready that they will have a right to enter in to the city of God and eat from the tree of life. Jesus means business, and he sends his truth in love. 